We all know Redline is more than just an RP server. It is a community. And today that community has come together to say goodbye to one of its own. His name was Pastor Scott. He was our friend and a man who made us laugh. He always gave us advice, both for our P and beyond. He was always willing to help others, no matter what it was. And he had one hell of a lot of love for classic cars. Pastor Scott came into our lives for only a short while, but the impact he had on all of us, we will never forget. Today, we remember him, our friend, a member of our community. Bye hi, Pastor Scott. You will be missed. Yeah, just kind of face the garage. We just wanted to park uh, past his car here for the last time. And then we can all kind of meet in that circle, looking towards the driveway. There is parking all the way at the end, um, if you do want to drive up and through. Uh, there's like a dirt patch that you can park.
If anyone's got anything they want to say or any stories to share, feel free. time he showed up in the city I offered him to help out with the car wash help him get started I said that I've been with him That we had that on days we open up the cars. Times we left, we enjoyed the time along with friends. In that, good memories. I know you're up there. I know you're listening. But you're always going to be with us, man. As a brother. More as a family, man. Scott, you're a very good friend, buddy, salesman at the Vinewood dealership, be any happier, glad that I have met you, Scott. I would to meet you. The car that you always keep on driving. The car that you love. Classic cars. I'll never forget, Scott. Signs that you might have. With other guys. All of us here. that we had that we went go fishing that we went to go on the cruise on the yacht get those days your brother to me no? you're at a good place man sure. you always be happy eh? Say, Scott was a great guy. I came to the city a long time ago now. It feels like a long time ago, but it wasn't really that long ago. You know, it's only been five, six months since we both came to the city. It's like I said, you know, we wanted to hustle together. We started working at the car wash thanks to John here, who gave us the opportunity. And Scott was just always the friendliest, most bubbliest person you'd ever meet. The worst mood and he just put you in, he would make you forget about all your problems and whatever you were dealing with. He had a huge impact on a lot of people. I mean, look around. We've got the whole damn city here right now. Impact. I just remember talking to him, and if you guys know Scott, he was probably the only person that would never do any crimes, was always scared to do crimes because he always wanted to keep a good record, which is probably why I became a salesman, even though that's probably the biggest crime he did. I used to do all his crimes for him. 
I'm sure he kept himself clean just because he was that type of person. Dylan was the guy that everybody could love and depend on. To the new people in town, in the city, always gave back, would always give away cars, would always take care of them. Definitely a great role model. And even though we argued who, are, which one of our hometowns had the best pizza, he always knew how to cheer me up. Hey today, Scott. I want to say thank you for everything, Scott. For being the human being that you were. Thank you for uh, allowing me to believe that there is a chance out there for people. That's all. So, it is a difficult time. Um, me personally, I knew of Scott to a degree, uh, like many of you here. But on the small interactions from day one, so he commented a lot on GoPros of mine uh, with music. And I remember the first day that he told me about getting into the city. Um, super excited uh, always used to tell me like he would come up to me in the city and ask if I'd perform at Coffee Bean for him <laughs> um, he was always talking about how he'd love to be in one of the music videos so he made that happen which is why I'm wearing this jacket today um, because it's actually the jacket that he wore in the video um, and all that I could say really about Scott from my perspective positive energy a true believer in people and their skills and everything that you can do as a person somebody that would welcome absolutely everybody and anybody into his life good at advice and um, I've actually dedicated the song that he was in uh, there's quite a, a thing in the description for him. Um, and no, before some of you think that's not a clout thing, it's not anything to do with that. Uh, it was just my way of honouring him and his presence because he impacted me as well. Um, but such a great person and, to be honest, a role model to this community. Um, so I hope that we welcome new people with loving arms in the same way that he welcomed a lot of new people with loving arms. I mean, it goes without showing that, um, me and Pastor didn't exactly start off as, well, friends, and, um, just goes to show to the kind of man he was that, in the end, we ended up friends. He would always give me very good sound criminal advice, despite not being a criminal. And he was always there for me when I needed it, and... He's a very bright light that, um, will be missed. That's all I have to say. Yeah, I remember 
first day or two in the city, uh, I don't remember who it was. I don't know if they're here today, but they drove me up to uh, Pastor to get me a free car. And I asked him, you know, I, I didn't know what was happening. I didn't know what was going on. And I asked him, hey, what's the catch? He's like, dude, there is no catch. It's a free car. So him and I kind of chuckled about that for a while. And him and I got talking and he absolutely loved his, you know, favorite cars, classic cars, just the same as I do. And then probably about a month or two later, him and I were in Legion. And I kept say, asking him if, uh, hey, if, you know, anybody's got, you know, a GMC Cyclone. And he said no, he didn't know anybody at the moment. He said he would look out for one. And I don't remember if I told him that, yeah, but I finally got one. I did finally get one. So I just want to say thanks, Scott, for, you know, trying to look out. That's, that's all I got to say. Um, I've actually got a message to read out for Battery, um, who couldn't be here with us today. Um, so I'll be reading this on his behalf. I feel that I can say this for a lot of people. He has made a massive impact on this community. When I first met him, he was welcoming and humorous. He made such a major impact on my life. I'll miss our long phone calls and always tackling him and his general love of cars. I'll always remember the last time I saw him. He had countless fun with the F1 cars. He had such a great time that day. The last thing I have to say is fly high, my friend, and see you in heaven. When it's my time to go, I'll meet you there. Excuse me, can I just get a rose and car?
ready to make your way as well? Mm. Yeah. You can go. Thank you for this service, uh, Chloe. Thank you for coming, guys. You're welcome. Thank you very much for coming out. We appreciate Thanks for you. Following us of course. Yeah, of course, of course. Goodbye, Pastor Scott.